If we don't have farming, we don't have life. Our farmers have formed the backbone of upstate New York's economy. But in recent years, small family farms are hemorrhaging money and drowning themselves in debt just to get by. You know, it's 20 grand a month we're losing here. We've had four years of a, a tremendous downward spiral. We're using a line of credit that we just keep depleting and eating away at equity. Once you sell a farm, it doesn't stay as a farm. It's lost forever. To me, it's a national security issue. Family farms are closing at a historic rate, and the financial pressure has led to farmers having the highest suicide rate of any profession. I didn't want to be alive anymore. I got right down to that point. It's hard. Yeah, we're getting basically the same amount of money now for our milk as we did in the 70s even. Uh, but our expenses have quadrupled. <laughs> we like to say that we're rich in ways that money's never going to buy us. And I think that's what we have to remind ourselves of each day. Is there going to be a day that, that no matter how good we are, how many bills we pay, that it's just not going to be viable? It's been three or four years in a low right now, and it's not good. I'm using a line of credit that we just keep depleting and eating away at equity. On a road bearing their family name, in a village named for their ancestors, the Nellis family farm dates back further than our country. The farm's been in John's family since 1723. It went from just survival, growing, having a cow or two for your own milk, to starting to feed the people in the cities. Dairy farmers are suffering. They have had uh, month after month of very low uh, prices for their milk. And it's so low, it's below the cost to actually make the milk, to produce it. It's called the cost of production. The dairy industry is going to continue to struggle, and our size farm is going to struggle to be part of it. My son watches the truck pull out and says, how many thousands did I lose today? That's, that's really where we are. Every day I get out of bed, you lose money. You do it because you love it. You know, it's 20 grand a month we're losing here. We're fighters, planners, budgeters. Do whatever we can. We're going to work our way back. And then we've had four years of a, a tremendous downward spiral. A year ago, June, we had a meeting and came out of that meeting and said, this is it. Uh, there, there is no more uh, funding available for the, some of these transitions or options we were looking at. This is the, the pile of all of our options. So we've, uh, we've been working hard at that. Maintenance, repairs, equipment, cropping, seed, fertilizer, just it goes on and on and on and on. So it's hundreds of checks every month. Our cost of production is 18 and milk price is 15. Two things make milk, a high price and a low price. High price to take advantage, of course, of that margin low price so that you can have enough cash flow to provide for your obligations. So to do that, you have to add cows, add milk production, so you can meet those obligations. And what does that do? It throws that supply and demand out of whack. And the longer it continues, the more out of whack it gets. So that's where we are today. Bottom line, I'm real concerned about the future of this business. It's very difficult. Where are we going to go? It's, we can't just have a dream. It's going to get better. And it's hard. When they feel that they're up against a wall with no solutions, then that's when it becomes serious. Really, most tragically, we've seen some dairy farmer suicides because the pressure on them is so severe. It's the stress level of finances. And even the thousand cow dairies are starting to feel it here now because they can't make milk as cheap as a 10,000 cow dairy can.
but I knew what I wanted to do. It was a dream. It's definitely the way of life. I don't see life past cows. I had the urge in uh, junior year of high school to go ahead and milk my own cows on my own. Started with three cows, ran, rented a farm. I never borrowed any money from the banks or nothing. It was all out of my pocket. It made me feel accomplished and honored that I could do it on my own. Dairy farmers have this pride in supporting themselves. It's phenomenally expensive. That's why so many people have, have a difficult time starting farms, because the startup costs are so, so very high. It was a struggle. Went nine months without a milk market. Didn't know where, what to do with the milk, just dump it down the drain. It was uh, July of 2016 when we started shipping milk. We finally had a milk market. When you sit down, you have to cash flow. If you don't cash flow, you can't do it. About March is when I started really, you know, I really got depressed and you could really see it. It's a part of them and they feel an identity as being a farmer and if they lose that identity, then that's when it becomes serious. I figured out I failed, so, you know, I'm gonna fail at that, and I'm gonna fail at life, that's what I felt. We will be selling all of our animals and that's like selling your children. <laughs> 